Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. Today is going to be my store finds and mail deliveries for the week. Uh, also, if you guys are in the market for some display cases for your diecast, uh, I have a special promotion code for my all my subscribers. So make sure you watch the end of the video to get extra information on 15% uh, off your order at Mass Car Displays. Um, didn't get a whole lot this week. Uh, my buddy Josh Champo, uh, shout out to him. Thanks for helping me find some of the stuff. He he uh, found uh, four of the items today and uh, messaged me about them. They were ones that were on my uh, wanted list. And then I got a couple items from eBay. We're pretty much going to be opening everything in today's video. Uh, the only thing that we're probably not going to open, I think I'm going to do a separate video for all my little diorama pieces. I found this on eBay. This is a American Diorama Miho exclusive 164 scale figures mechanics limited edition. So it's got like four different mechanic dudes and then like um, a tool chest and a floor jack. Um, but probably not going to open this yet. I do have a bunch of these uh, Diorama accents that are still uh, boxed up. So once I get my get around to getting my diorama together and opening a lot of this stuff will probably make a separate video for freeing all this stuff uh, i'll just give you a shot of the packaging uh there's a lot of this uh style stuff on ebay uh 164 scale diorama pieces i think uh, green light sells some and they're different um, obviously americandiorama.com is another uh, place you can get some of this stuff m and Toys. So, uh, check it out on eBay if you want to have a little diorama set up for your 164 scale diecast. They do sell a lot of this stuff. So I found this on eBay. And this one we probably will keep packaged. But the rest of it we're going to be opening in today's video. Um, I'll just give you a shot of some of the card art. This is just a, a dollar car main line. This is a 87 Dodge D100. And it's got some cool, uh, it's kind of like a race truck, like a Baja truck, uh, a Dodge. It's got like a spare tire in the back, and it's this cool can and livery, uh, orange and black. But just give you a shot of the card, we'll be opening it in the second half of the video. Uh, another uh, Chrysler Pacifica paint scheme version I didn't have. I'll check that out. This is from the Baja, Baja Blazers series, Chrysler Pacifica. Just give you a shot of the card art. Uh, this is another one that uh, Josh Champ will help me find. This is uh, uh, Hot Wheels Premium uh, Release Thundercats Classic, Thundercats Thunder Tank. Pretty cool. I used to watch the Thundercats when I was a youngster. And this tank is pretty cool. Probably won't go together very well with uh, some of my other die casts, but it is kind of a cool thing, and we'll be opening that up and checking it out. Uh, I also got from eBay uh, a dairy delivery that I didn't have in my collection. This is uh, uh, Ronald McDonald Children's Charity's 30th Anniversary Collector's Convention. So this was, uh, I think this is something that was sold at the, one of the Hot Wheels conventions, probably the 30th Hot Wheels convention. This was a charity car. And this is pretty popular uh, with die-cast uh, dairy delivery collectors. And I didn't have one. I wanted to add one to my collection. I'm trying to get one of every dairy delivery released, except for certain customs uh, but this is kind of a convention piece I believe for charity so glad to have that one I got a pretty good deal on it on eBay so grab that and then here's another one from uh, Josh Champo that helped me find this uh, new Hot Wheels ID Volkswagen T1 GTR uh, so we're going to be opening this up and we'll take a look at it really cool uh, blue and black flame job. This is the second paint job on this casting. I do still uh, have the uh, first release or the original. 
So we'll maybe take a quick look at that too when we open this up. So let me get the uh, turntable adjusted and the camera adjusted. And then uh, we'll start uh, ripping some stuff and checking it out in detail. Okay, first we'll start ripping some of these uh, mainline cars. We'll do this Chrysler Pacifica first. Another kind of uh, Baja or off-road version. Uh, looks like it's got a plastic base. Plastic wheels. Feels like a metal body. And if you haven't seen it up close, there's like a little go-kart or little uh, like power wheels in the back of the minivan. Very cool version. I think there's at least uh, two or three different paint schemes of this new Chrysler Pacifica off-road minivan. And this is one I didn't have yet, so I wanted to pick it up. I'm going to try to collect them all. It's fairly new casting. Next up, we'll check out this uh, 87 Dodge D100, the k &N livery, another uh, off-road desert-style vehicle. It's even pretty much got the same wheels on it, same style wheels. It's got a little uh, extra tire in the back between the rails of the roll bar. Uh, really light, uh, nice looking design on this one. I really like the paint scheme. The orange and black looks good. Uh, the black and chrome wheels look pretty good. It's got the uh, hood scoop. I'll give you a shot of the bottom and a shot of the top. Plastic base it looks like. And then there's what the top looks like. Pretty nice for a main line. Next up, we got, we'll open up the, uh, the Thundercats Thunder Tank Hot Wheels Premium. Now, this one is kind of funky. It's got some little plastic wheels underneath and a tiny little skinny pizza cutter style wheel in the front so it's almost like almost kind of like a boat like a speed boat you would buy because the tracks don't turn and the little plastic wheels are supposed to stick up they stick stick out a little further than the tracks do so the rolls on these little wheels and then there's like a little wheel in the middle there a little pizza cutter uh the the arms do move just a little bit but that's about all they move I don't think they move up or down any further than that. You can see it's got some teeth and a mouth, but the mouth doesn't open. I don't see any other moving parts on here that I can tell. So we'll throw that on the turntable and we'll get a closer look at it. Still a really cool piece. Meant to look like a cat with the teeth and everything in the front. Thundercat, Thunder Tank. Not sure how well it uh, how well it rolls. Seems to roll okay, but that's the Thunder Tank. Pretty cool. Next up, we'll uh, open up this uh, Ronald McDonald House Charities uh, Dairy Delivery. I got from eBay. All right, nice red and yellow paint job on it. Nice bright red, fire engine red. And it's got some Ronald McDonald House Charities graphics on it. A little Hot Wheels logo and a McDonald's logo. Uh, I believe it's just a plastic base, plastic wheel. So even though this one usually goes for a little bit more of a premium because it's a charity car, uh, there's really not a whole lot to it. Chrome plastic base. Just your standard plastic wheel, so nothing too special about it. Even though it's a premium price, it's not really got the premium features like the metal base or the rubber tires. But still, uh, one I didn't have, so glad to add that to the collection. 
And then last but not least, we'll check out uh, this Hot Wheels ID Volkswagen T1 GTR, the new uh, blue and uh, black flame job. If you're not familiar with these, they have a little magnet. Hold the flap closed. And these are designed to be uh, taken out and then put back in. So you can store them back in the packaging and not have to uh, just th throw the package away. They're designed to be played with and then repackaged if that's the way you want to do it. But very cool uh, two-tone. Uh, the whole top of the van is like a plastic piece and then the bottom part is metal. So the whole uh, where the windows are and the, the top of the van is all a plastic piece. It looks the roll though. It's got the, the premium wheels. I really like the flame job on this. It's got a little extra detail. Uh, usually they have kind of like a clear uh, base on them so you can kind of see the some of the electronics inside, a little transponder that keeps track of the uh, lap speed or the lap, how many laps you put on it. If you have the uh, special racetrack, the Hot Wheels ID racetrack, and you have the, the app on your smartphone. You can see a little bit of the uh, circuit board in there through the clear plastic base. I think you can see the wiring or the circuit board. Let's see, it says. Volkswagen T1 GTR, made in Malaysia, plastic, smooth plastic base, but a uh, very cool version, second paint job from this brand new casting, I do have the original uh, release, original version, here's the uh, original version, I just because I have it handy, this is what the original release looked like. Like kind of like a Zamax silver with some multicolored stripes on it. Chrome rims. Where this new one has black rims. And since this is in Hot Wheels fashion, since this is a new uh, casting, they'll probably push a lot of these out just because it's uh, a brand new casting and they want, you know, to get their money out of the casting. So they'll probably make a bunch of these. Uh, in a bunch of different paint schemes just to keep cranking them out and get their make their money back from this new tooling All right guys, here's everything for the week uh, Not a lot of uh, quantity, but a lot of quality some cool stuff uh, remember to stay tuned for uh, the info on those mass car display cases if you're interested in uh, picking up some display cases for your die cast uh, hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did uh, enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe also check out my facebook page that van guy and check me out on instagram i'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy on instagram so check me out there Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Here's a shot of my Mascar Ultima displays. Uh, some with dust covers, like the one in the middle here. You can see you got the little extra glare on it because it's got a hard uh, dust cover that goes over the top. And then I have a couple without. So just wanted to give you a quick shot of what they look like uh, with cars in them. As a thank you to all my subscribers, right now you can go to the Mascar Displays website and get 15% off your order when you use the promo code VANGUY. That's V-A-N-G-U-Y, VANGUY. So check out Mascar Displays. I'll leave a link in the description to their website. 
and you can get 15% off your order as a thank you to all my subscribers.